I'm born and raised in Tunisia. Tough life, you know, you have to fight to get everything, you know. When I was young, I was not confident guy at all. I was always like hiding and my brother was the opposite of me. He was troublemaker. So my brother report me to my father and grandfather. He said, your son is scared. He doesn't want to involve in any, any fight with me. You know, even he see me, I'm fighting. He, don't, he never come to, to help or fight with me, you know. So they decide to put me in martial arts school, you know, to pick up my confidence and uh, learn how to defend myself. And they started from there, you know. I get a couple of title, you know, an amateur. And from over there, I moved uh, here to, to UAE to start my professional journey. A lot of Arabs that come from a difficult upbringing end up becoming great fighters. Those guys are the most dangerous guys. They get fast. Short. These guys love to fight for that warrior spirit. Short. He's one of the guys that you need to watch out for. He's one of the personalities that made his name in regional organizations. He's an incredible striker. They call him a sniper for that reason. I'm trying to bring the striking game to a whole different level. I don't try to play it safe. Elbows coming down. Smart, violent, all together at the same time. Blake stops it. And the crowd is losing their mind. I dominate every like regional organization till uh, nothing to prove. I started to really believe that I can be in the UFC. I was waiting for that call. We've been hearing great things about him from, from friends in the Middle East who said, look, this is a talented kid. But the way he gets to the UFC is by a friend of Dana White's son showing him highlight tapes and saying, you got to give this guy a chance. The story is just mind boggling. My son's birthday party and took a bunch of his friends to dinner. And this kid that's sitting next to me, Adam, is just terrorizing me about this guy. He's like, I'm telling you, this guy's awesome. You need him. He was in touch with me in that moment. He said, Munir, Munir, Dana is here. I'm going to try to show him your highlight reel to get you into the UFC Fight Island. For whatever reason, Dana says, all right, kid, you can be my matchmaker for this one. And they bring Munir Laziz into the UFC on the recommendation of his son's friend. It's crazy, you know, how you know, 17 years old made uh, this, uh, this fight, but, uh, you know, we prove it. Like, anything in this life can, can happen, you know? Munir Laziz was the first Arab-born, Arab-based fighter to make it to the USC. He was, like, the star of Fight Island 1. 171, the official weight for Munir Laziz. It was, a, you know, a sweet moment for Arabs mixed martial arts uh, when Munir Laziz made his debut on uh, Fight Island. All right, so here is Munir Lazez fighting out of Dubai, making his UFC debut here tonight. Everyone was happy for him, including his opponents. For them, it's a collective success when any one of them reaches the pinnacle of the sport. Lazez has quite the highlight reel, a couple of head kick knockouts. But Paul, so does Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Have fun, gentlemen. With that touch of gloves, we are underway. Whoa! Reset, reset! Oh, He's getting up here. smashed here! His first fight was a little bit scary. You start thinking, uh-oh, what kind of mistake did we make here? What are we doing letting teenage kids, you know, be our matchmakers? Give yourself a bit more distance, bit more distance. But the nail is this. He survives that early storm. Ah, uh, Lezez is smiling at it. He comes out of that early flurry, and he smiles a little bit, and you go, OK, this kid's got something. Beautiful neck, second phase. Beautiful. I never been defeated here in my home ground. It's like kind of motivation for me. He's fighting me. He's definitely throwing less for sure. Oh, that slide up crash elbow. Look at the tides are turning. Now it's Al Hassan that's backing up. Oh, oh. keep him there. No, don't rush. And for me, I'm trying to prove that when I was young, not confident, and I was scared so much from fighting, I want to prove it till now. I can make it. Get it. What a fight turned in by Munir Lazez. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Munir the Sniper Lazez. We're really starting to see talent emerge from places we never thought of before. It's really taking the sport to the next level.
I think the talent's always been there. It's just they were waiting for their chance. I feel like Munir kind of provided that, that hope for people that you can train out of the Middle East and make it to the UFC. How about that, sir? Welcome to the UFC, baby. It kind of just shed light on the rest of the talent who are now thinking they have a chance. Everyone saw what he did, uh, a debut that got him fight of the night. Um, a winning debut and uh, a representation of Arab fighters and fighters from the region. One of the biggest accomplishments for the country. You know, sometimes to give hope for others has to be done with one. And that one was me.